Hi and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Andrea and today I want to show you how to start a Tunisian crochet project in a magic circle. You will use this technique for various projects. For example, if you want to make my fiery opal shawl, which I'm showing you here, this is the beginning of the shawl. Or if you work in the round with a double-ended hook, sometimes you will start with many stitches in the magic circle. This is what I will be showing you how to make and here's the magic circle. We will use the beginning of the fiery opal shawl pattern so that I can give you an example of how to work with the magic ring. To start the magic ring we have the short tail here and we make a loop putting the tail on top of the working yarn. We insert the hook through this loop and pick up a loop. We chain one. And this will be our first stitch, the one we don't usually count when making stitches in a row, but we count when we count the loops. In the pattern, we have to make nine Tunisian simple stitches in the magic ring. To do that, we insert the hook through the magic ring, we pick up a loop, and now we can just leave it like this on the hook, because if we pick up the next loop, then we will have just a yarn over on the hook. So we don't want that. After we pick up the loop, we chain one. This makes the first Tunisian simple stitch in the magic ring. We do this eight more times. And this is the end of the row. In a regular row, you would have a last stitch to make. But in this case, in the first row, we count this last stitch as the last stitch of the first row. Now we have to do the return pass. If you're using a double-ended hook, you would attach the yarn at the other end and do the return pass from the beginning of the row. But since we're using a regular hook, we're just going to chain one and then yarn over, pull through two, until we have only one loop left on the hook. So we chain one, and then we yarn over both or two, and repeat this to the beginning of the row. This is the first row of the pattern. And we don't pull on the tail to close the magic ring because we need to be able to work into these stitches. Next row, we will have a repeat of one Tunisian simple stitch and one yarn over. So we repeat this eight times, one simple stitch, one yarn over. And this creates the increase that will create the sh rounded shape of the shawl. After eight repeats, we have to do the last stitch. And now we will insert the hook behind the two vertical bars at the base of the first row. Pick up a loop, chain one, yarn over pull through two to the beginning of the row to return. And this makes the second row that we worked in the magic ring. And now you can see it's, it will be much easier for the next row to work into these spaces. So we can pull a little bit on the magic ring, just don't close it completely. You still want to be able to move the base here. Next row, we have no increases, just make 16 Tunisian simple stitches. And in the case of the eyelets, you insert the hook through the eyelet, pick up a loop. And this is a Tunisian simple stitch when working in an eyelet in my patterns. So we have 16 Tunisian simple stitches. And if you pulled too much on the magic ring here, it will become a bit difficult to pick up the loops in this row. So you can let it out a bit. Once 
when you have 16 stitches you make the last stitch chain one yarn over pull through two to return and we should make one more row with the magic ring open like this in this pattern you also have 16 Tunisian simple stitches on this row At the end of the row, last stitch, chain one, yarn over pull to two, to the beginning of the row to return. And now we can close the magic ring. You continue working in pattern around this, but now it will be much easier for the fabric to gather up on the hook because there's enough length here for the fabric to not pull at the magic ring in the pattern the next repeat is similar to row two so we have one simple stitch one yarn over and repeat this 16 times and i will show you what it looks like to work around this row with the magic ring almost closed As you can see, the fabric still wants to open up a bit, but that's not a problem. At the end of the row, we pick up the last stitch, and then we chain one, yarn over pull through two, And from here on out, you can continue working with the magic ring closed and you should not have any more trouble with working around the project normally. So I hope this was a useful tutorial. If you want to try the fiery opal shawl, which is an advanced Tunisian crochet pattern, you can find it in my shops. There are links in the description of this video. And there will also be links to this other shawl that I'm working on, which is a bit easier to make. It's not as advanced as the fiery opal shawl. So I hope this video has been useful to you and that you will use this technique for making many beautiful projects. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to find out when I publish more videos about Tunisian crochet and crochet patterns. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!